So picking back up from our last sheet cam nesting video, we have our nested sheet here. Clicking into the nesting mode, it shows the toolpath and how um, sheet cam is going to cut it. We have a simulation option here. If I click into this mode, I can basically start the code and adjust the feed rate here. So I'll speed the feed rate way up to 500%. And this will let you see how the machine is actually going to cut the plate out. Generally, I don't do this. Usually, I trust the way SheCam has chosen to cut the plate out. But if you're curious about it, you can see the order in which SheCam is going to cut your parts out. Now, it won't always cut just these parts and then move on to these parts. It may cut up and choose to go in a circle. And there's different options in SheCam that can control that. Okay. So, I'm going to stop this. Get out of the simulation mode. Back to the original. And so, in the nesting mode, I'm going to click and drag around around those parts and I'm going to delete them and I'm going to go back to the original single part okay so I'm going to go the zoom to part so if I go back to view tool pass mode I can work with the operation here so a couple things I want to talk about here in this operation that we didn't mention the most important being the path rules this is a really nice feature it allows you to control the speed of the cut and whether or not the torch height control is on and off on or off at different parts in the cut. It will allow you to slow down the cut for holes on an inside corner you could set it so that say a quarter inch before the, the corner the machine slows down and turns the torch height control off and then a tenth of an inch after the corner the machine speeds back up. All of that can be accomplished in the path rules. Currently we have no path rules set. So what we have to do is create initially a path rule set so to click on this square box here what I can do is create a rule set currently I have none I can add a rule set so I'm gonna call this rule set holes okay now to this rule set I can add rules so I can add a rule and these rules can happen at all these different options. Okay, arcs, small shapes, inside corners, outside corners, whatnot. For this rule set, I'm going to have it work with initially small circles. I determine how small a circle. For here, I want it to be a circumference of inch and a half. When it encounters a small circle, it will automatically slow the speed rate, the feed rate down to 60%. On the start, it will turn the THC off and then turn it back on. So now I have that rule set there. Okay. Now, you may be wondering why are we turning the THC on and off? Well, anytime you slow down the cut, your torch height control is going to have a tendency to run too close to the plate. Depending on how much you slow it down, it will run into the plate. Okay, So it's very key that you turn your THC on and off when you are reducing speeds. Okay, So to this rule set, I'm going to add another rule. And this rule is going to be for small shapes. So this will be for ovals and whatnot things that aren't circles. I'm going to make this the same size and I'm going to set the same parameters. 
as the holes. I don't have to, but I want to. So, so now I have a rule set. Basically, I can click um, OK, and now I have a rule set saved. If I go over None, now I can set the rule set to Holes. Now, when I do this, now if I click on to Show True Width, you'll notice that these are shown in blue now. So, what that means is a rule is being applied to them. basically if I zoom in you will see an X here and an X here so the X's are indicating where the rule is starting and where it's stopping okay so here we have a single X just start and stop okay so you can add as many rules as you want to a set but you can only apply one set at a time so if I go back into um, that rule set, just to show you, I will add a rule set to my outside corners. So corners that are tighter than 45 degrees, before the corner, uh, a tenth of an inch before the corner, the feed rate will drop down to 60%. The THC will turn off and a tenth of an inch after the corner it will speed back up and the THC will turn back on so now let me, I've applied that change and as you can see now I have these rule changes showing up in blue indicating that it's going to slow down slow down slowing down it's not going to slow down on this one because that's a start point so that's how you do use your your path rules um, very powerful and I would definitely recommend let me delete that rule back to the originals definitely recommend you use path rules to slow down your holes on your thicker plate this will give you much more consistent holes you know generally when you're working with the default speeds that are set in the tools over here on your thicker materials generally you'll find that you with really good nozzles and if everything's set up right you'll get good holes however when your nozzles and uh, parameters aren't quite set perfectly then your holes will be the the first thing to, to deteriorate. Your perimeter cut will stay good while your holes don't quite turn out so well. By slowing your holes down, you get far more consistent holes. So even if I have worn consumables and I'm cutting thicker plate, I can know that I'm going to get a higher quality hole provided I slow it down. So, very nice feature. I highly recommend you use it.